Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and welcome to the program Muslims in America. The religion of Islam is the fastest growing religion in the world and the majority of that growth is taking place right here in the United States of America. According to reliable estimates there are more than 7 million Muslims in the United States of America. Muslims have become vital and valuable assets to the American society. So please join me in my travels as I go around the USA and introduce you my viewers to a few of the many Muslims in America. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alaikum as salam. Uh, alhamdulillah that we have a very, very special guest here in the program, the program Muslims in America. And we're discussing the history of Islam in America. And we have one of the pioneers of Islam among the indigenous Muslims here in the United States of America, Imam uh, Warathi Muhammad. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And I thank you very much for uh, spending some time with us because this is a very important aspect of Islam in America to know the history of how we have arrived where we are today in Islam. So uh, Imam, I just want to ask you a bit, talking about the history of Islam, mm -hmm. from, your, from your side, what are your earliest memories, childhood memories of yeah. realizing that you are Muslim? Oh, <laughs> that's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, the, the, the impressions made on me more than anything else was that we were in our own world mm -hmm. and the outside world was our enemy. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I, was, I was aware, my mother would take me as a little boy, she would take me with her shopping. Mm -hmm. And uh, I remember traveling with her downtown for her to look in the big department stores for a pattern. She would make her own clothes, but mm -hmm. she would go there and find patterns. Right. Yeah. And uh, I would be so tired of waiting on her to finish her business and go home, mm -hmm. but I was aware of how people would look at her, and uh, I was aware that they didn't like us. The public didn't like us. Mm -hmm. And at that time, I mean, how many Muslims were, I mean, part of the community you lived in at that time? Uh, very few. Very few. In the beginning, uh, I doubt if we had uh, 500 people, mm -hmm. yeah, 500 persons, uh, very, very small, and most of them were in Chicago, mm -hmm. but they started in, in Detroit, Michigan, mm -hmm. in the slums of Detroit, Michigan, what they call the Black, black Bottom, mm -hmm. or the ghetto, you know. Right. Um, it started there and moved to Chicago in about a uh, year, one year. Now, initially, when you started telling the people in the ghetto areas of Detroit mm -hmm. about Islam, what was the approach and why was the religion of Islam or the, the concept of the religion of Islam so appealing to the poor folks there in the Detroit? Uh, uh, yes. Um, uh, first, firstly, uh, the, the movement started out not at the, with the names that would identify us with Muslims. Right. started out with the name Temple, Holy Temple of Islam. Holy Temple of Islam. Holy Temple of Islam. Mm -hmm. um, and, um, uh, I, I, I believe that uh, the attraction was uh, black nationalism, mm -hmm. yeah, because mm -hmm. it was actually 
a black nationalist movement mm -hmm. uh, started by a mysterious man. I won't say a mystic, but mm -hmm. a mysterious man mm -hmm. uh, named Farad. But what about, this is a question that comes up, especially yeah. in a lot of uh, yeah. writings about the history of Islam in America and yeah. uh, the nation of Islam. Did you ever meet this mysterious man, or was he ever someone who you saw, <laughs> or this is just, you, you're like no. everybody else? No. Now, mind you, uh, it started in 1930, July of 1930. Okay. And my father became aware of it in 1931, oh, early 1931. Okay. okay. And I had not been born yet. Okay. okay. <laughs> I was born in October of 1933. Mm -hmm. And my mother told me, she said, I brought you in my arms. She said, you're 11 months old. Mm -hmm. And I brought you to Chicago after your father had gone ahead of us to make some, re some, some, some preparations for mm -hmm. us. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, so um, uh, I was very young. I know from, from elders mm -hmm. what happened, from my parents, from mm -hmm. my sister and yeah. brothers. And that's an important point of this yeah. interview because I want to know from my elders also <laughs> about the history of uh, Islam in America. Uh, yes. So now when you moved to Chicago, how many, what, did the families like migrate from Detroit to Chicago? Exactly. Or did you go to Chicago to start all over? Exactly. My parents originally came from uh, Georgia, mm -hmm. uh, Georgia, and uh, they migrated uh, with other uh, blacks or African Americans mm -hmm. uh, to Detroit for better conditions, so working to have better income, to mm -hmm. get jobs and make more money. Mm -hmm. um, that's why they were attracted to Detroit and to the, and to the north, right. to enter the north. Right, and when the people came to the to the temple.